Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your tarot card of the day for January 6, 2018. Um, so you've got four cards here. I'm gonna put the phone down so I can explain. Okay, so this is what's what we got going on here. All right, so this is for January 6, 2018. The first card that you have is the Ace of Ariel. It says, it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in a job or a promotion. Okay, first off, let me say that does not mean go quit your job. That This has nothing to do with quitting a job, so please don't do it. Okay, it's your lucky day. New resources. This resources could be anything. Could be, like it says here, money, time, support, a change of job or promotion. It could even be an, an idea. It can even be a light bulb no moment that comes through and you're like, all of a sudden a solution just pops into your head to an issue or a problem. I feel like a lot of you have been... You've been deserving something good. It's coming. Okay, and then you got the Ace of Michael. A wonderful, oh, great. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. I feel like there's been some misunderstandings, some mishaps. There's been a little bit of some grudges going on, but I feel like neither party knows the real reason why maybe some it was a he said she said maybe somebody gave somebody a dirty look and they were like and the other person was like fuck that i'm out um i feel like for some of you you're overly sensitive right now and then it could be the other party that's overly sensitive or both of you and that's causing a lot of vendettas and a lot of um a lot of grudges for no reason so yeah so consider making making up with with coworkers, with friends, with family, with lovers, it's um I I'm picking up strong like um relationship issues coming up, like um misunderstandings with your partner. Maybe you know they like to picture on social media, and you're like, oh fuck, you're cheating on me. Maybe they didn't even know that they were liking somebody's picture. Maybe they just liked it. You know, I mean. I, I know I, I sometimes do. I'll, I'll just go down and just scroll and I'll like everything. And then later I'll be like, oh no, I just like to post that somebody was sick. And then I'll quick unlike it. So it could be like misunderstandings like that. Okay. And then we've got the eight of Raphael. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you... Oh, for, for the other card, I feel like it's a, it's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius person that you're having a misunderstanding with. Or you could be an air sign that's having a misunderstanding with someone. This could be their energy, their moon, their sun, their rising, or um, or their Venus. And then for the Ariel, um, I feel like for some of you, it's a... Um, ay, ay, ay. What was I getting? It's so hard because this information from my guides comes in quick. And then if I don't spit it out right then and there, I'll forget it. I Okay. Um so yeah, so it was air and then this next one eight of Raphael is earth. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. Spiritual quests. Um for some of you this is a spiritual journey and you're deciding to either get out of a spiritual group you're either deciding to cut ties with somebody spiritual or you are a spiritual person that that um that is deciding that you're not going to take shit anymore. Some of you, either you you have YouTube channels, you might you may do some sort of social media with your spirituality. You might have a business. You might have um. You might have a business that's outside of you know social media. You might like have a have like a home based business or work out of a shop. Some of you are deciding to cut ties with someone. Some of you will be deciding that you know what it's just not worth it. Some of you do psychic fairs. Some of you are going to decide you know what your cut is is not. I don't think so. Somebody's raising the the prices on something, and you're like, what the hell? This just is not worth it. Um, I don't want to work here anymore. I or I'm not going to rent a booth from you anymore. And then for some of you, you have um. You have other people who do the same thing that you do that are being negative or hateful. And instead of you responding each and every time the person starts shit, you're just going to be like, fuck you. I'm going to do me. Uh, please do you because it shows here major prosperity. Don't let anybody else drag you down. This is your life. Don't who, who cares what anybody else says, thinks, does. I mean, at the, in the moment, maybe you do care for a second, but put it into perspective. Consider the source, especially if it's the same person starting drama with everybody. Consider the source. You know, I've been, I've done a video about this, I think two or three times, but I've been wanting to do another one. I've just been busy. Um, but this is a little bit off topic of the, um, the card of the day. And then I'll get back into the card of the day. Um, 
for those of you, I know that there's a lot of other readers that watch my YouTube um, videos, and then there's a lot of people that watch my YouTube channel that are um, that are considering starting a YouTube channel. Guess what? YouTube is big enough for each and every one of us. All of us can contribute. What is the reason why we have YouTube channels? At least spiritually, at least at least I'm speaking for myself and I'm speaking for many others. We want to enlighten and help others. That's why we've got this. So, um, yeah, being hateful and and feel and and acting like YouTube belongs to one person, yeah, that does not sound like someone who's out to help people. That sounds like somebody who's very very selfish and very insecure. So yeah, so so for those of you that are, that were thinking about starting a YouTube channel, please do. I support you. And anybody else out there. And for those of you that already have a YouTube channel and you're getting flack from other people, I support you. 100%. So keep keep doing what you're doing. Spread the word. Do what you got to do. All right. So now the last card is Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. So you've got two cards so far that talk about something great coming in. So Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Um, all of this stuff is, you know, things work in mysterious ways. So sometimes it's it goes down the line. So in order, let's say you were trying to get a loan and the prayers are being answered. It would have to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It wouldn't just be like, bam, the money just falls into your lap, right? <laughs> it, it, it's a process. So your prayers are being answered, whatever that is. Um, and also understand that if you're asking for something that does not serve your highest good, you're probably not, you know, Unfortunately, that's probably not going to be fulfilled. And if it does get fulfilled, it's a life lesson. All right, guys, that was your tarot card of the day. Your baby brother, silly. That was your tarot card of the day for January 6th, <laughs> 2018. This little pipsqueak is doing a somersault and his older brother is just watching it all and laughing. It's so cute. But yeah, so... Um, that was your tarot card of the day for January 6th, 2018. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out my website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Um, please make sure to email me once you've made a payment. Um, at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. Ta-ta for now.